My name is Madeline Haponsky. I have an interest in visual arts because it allows me to express myself and I want to go into the art field as a career. This is an 18 by 24 inch hand and feet composition with graphite. For this project we had to study a lot about anatomy for hands and feet. I learned the bone structure and that allowed me to make more realistic hands and feet knowing the bones underneath the skin. I drew the top hand from observation. I used my grandmother's hand for that. I also drew the top foot from observation using my mom's hand. The bottom foot and the bottom hand are from a picture, which was of my hand and my foot. I had to take several pictures of the ribbons to see how they move naturally. I took pictures of the ribbon just on the floor and then weaved through my hand. This is an 18 by 24 charcoal piece. Before attempting this project, we learned three different techniques with charcoal. Subtraction, using charcoal powder and blending and leaving things unblended to see the natural texture. This was my first charcoal piece, so I had never used charcoal before. It was a learning process for me. I learned how to layer things to get the darker values that I wanted. I used mostly charcoal pencil on the hair and patterns on the shirts. I also used charcoal pencil for the eyes and the nose on the little girl. Um, I used vine and willow on the skin and the base value for the shirts and for the dark areas I used the compressed stick. I really enjoyed the highlights on this piece, especially the one on the little girl's eyes and nose, especially the eyes because it makes it look like she's really looking back at you. This is an 18 by 24 scratch board piece. I had never used a utensil that wasn't specifically made for drawing. I had to think learn I had to think differently compared to how I normally draw because with scratch board you have to draw in the highlights instead of focusing on the darker values. For the skin I mostly use cross hatching. On the shirt I used hatching and in the hair I used scribbling, which are all modeling techniques. For the hair I went in with the base value and then I added several more layers to bring some of the pieces of hair forward.